Has the Twisby Eco cracking situation been resolved? Has it been resolved? All right, where is my Eco? I had an Eco, here it is. I have a clear Eco. Uh, has the cracking situation been resolved? You know, honestly, I hear about uh, Twisby cracking kind of in waves, like it goes away for a while and then it kind of resurfaces. I think some of it has to do with people read old threads or like one person has a crack that, that occurs and then everybody else starts to research it and like seven year old threads from Fountain Pen Network kind of come up. Um, so I'll give you my perspective on it. Um, there's a lot of ecos out there and I rarely hear of a crack. Not to say that it can't happen, but do hear about it every so often. Um, most of the time it's like at the grip section. Um, the body is really, really sturdy, um, but it can happen at the grip or at the threads. Um, not to say it's, it's impossible. Really any pen can crack. Um, this one does, um, it does it, but probably not as, any more than any other pen really. It's just one of those hot button things that like people can sometimes associate um, to be with cracking. And I'll give you the pers my perspective on that. So it wasn't really a widespread issue even to begin with, especially with the Eco. Um, it, it's come up a little bit on Goulet Nation and we've seen it here and there. Um, honestly, this was more of an issue back when Twisby first started out with the 530, the model 530 and the 540. It got a lot better, but it was still happening. Then they came out with the 580, they redesigned and um, it happened a little bit, but then largely um, they figured out what was causing it. And, and through those iterations of the redesigns, it wasn't so much an issue. I think what happened was people were just associating Twisby and cracking and it was, it all just got jumbled in and it just kind of had that reputation for a long time. And now of course, anytime there's ever an issue that can resurface. So, um, you know, my perspective is it's really not something that should dissuade you from getting one of these pens. Um, especially because really Twisby has stood behind their stuff and they make it right for like everybody. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, they've explained it to me before of like why these pens, especially in the earlier days, were more prone to cracking. Um, it's not really so much the design of the pen itself or the material that's used. It actually has to do, especially on the, on the diamond series ones, like the 580s and stuff. Um, you know, if you notice, they're, they're incredibly like polished and, and very scratch resistant. Um, it's because there's some sort of coating process that uses this very specific amount of heat to cure this, this stuff that makes it scratch resistant. Um, and I guess if you, if you do that process wrong, then um, the way that it cures and stuff like that can put stresses on the plastic that will make it um, more prone to crack. So, um, you know, part of that is like they're trying to do something really good for the pen that if they end up doing it wrong, uh, can actually be bad for the pen. So uh, given that and how very rarely uh, I hear about that these days, I would say really they've kind of figured it out. Um, but the potential is there, I guess. Um, and as with any pen, you know, if there's any type of, of issue like that, just with, with normal use, um, that would be a warranty issue that they would um, surely stand behind. So, you know, to Twisby's credit, they stand behind it well. It really hasn't been that much of an issue. Um, and you can have a lot of confidence in buying, especially an Ego these days. But of course, we're always open to feedback. You can let us know, you can let Twisby know anytime that you might have